welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then a very big hello. My name is Louise, and today I've got such an exciting video. I am giving you an empty trailer tour from our brand new trailer that me and my boyfriend Jake purchased. Me and Jake are new trailer owners. We have never owned a trailer before, so there's some things on here that we don't know about really. Um, so please bear with us. We are beginners. If you see anything that I name something and I name it wrong, please don't shout with me. Like I said, I'm new and I like to take any tips that you guys would have so I'm going to show you the outside of the trailer first and then we're going to go inside and that's my favorite part of the trailer the decor and this is an empty trailer tool which means we literally just purchased it last month we hadn't put anything in it yet so this is it brand new and when we add our own little touches to it I'll be able to do you another trailer tour but yeah we haven't been camping in it yet. Our first camping trip is next week, so make sure you keep out for those vlogs. If you're interested in trailer camping and all things like that, then make sure you hit subscribe because we are so excited to take you on this new journey with us. So starting at the front of our trailer, it is a Springdale trailer. It is 22 foot um, and it goes on the back of our truck. We absolutely love the size of it. It is perfect for just us. And so this is our battery and this is our gas. And then this is how we attach it to our car. When we go on our first camping trip, I will show you how we do that. And then this is the side. We currently have it on our drive, but we are moving it today to a new location where we keep it in storage until we take it traveling because we don't want to keep it on our drive. So the first thing I'm going to show you is our storage. So this is the first storage area that we have. So the good thing about our camper van is it has so much storage. So this is the first part of storage just here. And this one goes all the way down to the other side and this is a nice long one so we thought we had like a gazebo or something that's very very long that can go in here um like one of those mats for outdoors um our chairs like this is a really really nice storage and it's got the really nice flooring as well this flooring is what we have inside of our trailer as well so this is a huge storage i absolutely love this one the next thing we have is this right here. Now, I don't know much about the stuff that's in here. Jake's gonna have to go through it with you guys, but this is all to do with the uh, water. So the water heater and things like that. So I'm gonna close that off. So that's all things water in there. Here is our hookups. So this is our fresh water. And then this is our city water. So this is when we go out camping, um, we have to hook it up into the campsites. We actually need to flush this one out. And Jake is supposed to be doing that this week sometime. So maybe I'll get him to vlog that and put that in one of our camping vlogs for you guys to see. We're all beginners to this. So we've had to research everything. And it says you have to flush it and uh, with bleach with a tiny tiny bit of bleach and keep it in there for like six hours and then drain it through so that's something we have to do then moving along our trailer we have this so this is very very new to us like i said we're new to the camping world and this is the black tank and the gray tank so basically this is where we hook up our sewers so the black tank is for the toilet which is the black one's just there and then the gray tank, which is this one here, is for the rest fresh water. So that's like the sink and then our, our um, shower and things like that. So that was new to us there. Coming up, this is another hookup that we have. This is for the electric. So this is where we hook up the electric. This is where the, you find the plug nice and simple so when we get to a campsite that's what we'll be hooking it up with moving on to here is our second storage this one is slightly smaller than the other one i'm just going to quickly show you yeah so this one is slightly smaller this is just stops just there it doesn't go all the way through but this is perfect we're going to get one of those white see-through boxes and fill it with all of our barbecue stuff first aid box and emergency stuff we need in there so we absolutely love that storage at the back so that is the right side of the trailer. This is the back of the trailer. We had, did pay extra to get the camera at the back, just there uh, for reversing. And then our lights are at the top there. And then it's just got the spring down model and then the extra tire just there. So the back is nice and easy. 
Then moving on to the next side, we have another storage section just here, just like the other one, it's half the way through. And then we have a window. And then at the top here, we do have, I don't know what you guys call these, but they extend out for cover. So when we're out camping, I will be able to show you that. And then these are for my fridge and freezer inside. Yeah, I just wanna show you those two doors. So there is the, the normal big thick door. And then we also have the netting door. So when it's super hot, we could actually have this door open and this one closed to stop getting bugs inside. And then we also have the steps just here. So when you first walk in the door, this is what you're gonna see. So to the left, we're gonna go around this way first. Like I said, it's only a small trailer, but me and Jake were really selfish when we were looking at them. And this is just the perfect size for us. There were bigger ones for the same price and there is a way, in a way of like bump bags at the back or another double bed, but honestly, this is all we need for just us two. And if we do have visitors, then I'll explain the situation we can do with that. So when we first walk in, we do have a fire extinguisher here, which I'm so happy with. I thought we were gonna have to buy one. I am gonna buy one of those fire blankets to go on the wall here, so that you can just throw over the stove if it catches light. But yeah, that's super cool. I also want to get some net in here and then put our shoes in here. Do you know that elastic black net, put one side to one side, so then we can put our shoes in there. At the minute, we have just got this Niagara Trailers map, but we will be changing that out to a cute camper van one, uh, maybe a personalized one if we can get that done. So this is that. Then when you first come in the left, this is our lights. So this is for outdoor because we have LED lights on the outside. I will show you that when it gets a bit darker. And then this is the indoor light. So as you can see, as you can see, it did just turn them on because we have solo panels. So we are able to have that on even if we're not plugged up to anything. We don't have any slides at the side, but if we were, that's what you would click. And then here is for the thing outside that goes out. Um, what do they call it? I don't know what they call it, but the, th the thing that goes out to like cover yourself. So that is that. Underneath we have this sound system. This was actually in with the caravan um, in the trailer. Every trailer comes with a sound system. Apparently back in the day, they used to come with radios, but now it's a little bit more technology. And me and Jake love this because you, you can actually take off the speaker and then we can take it outside when we're having barbecues and stuff. And it's an amazing speaker. We've already tried it out. So yeah, this is this section. Moving on over to our kitchen, which is one of the things that sold this design to me. Like I said, every single design was so different, but this is one of the things that sold me this, is this beautiful space, um, which is the kitchen. So we do have some plug sockets. We have plug sockets here, two plug sockets. They work with the solar panels as well. Then we have this gorgeous white and gray top. Now this can be a bit dangerous because it's not a real marble. It's like, it's hard to tell. So if I chop anything with color on this, it'll probably stain. So we just have to make sure that we use a chopping board. But I absolutely love this. We also have a window just above. I love this as well, because when we'll be cooking and washing up, we can look out at our view, which hopefully would be a gorgeous view. Our sink is the perfect size. It's not too small, it's very practical, um, and it's a nice deep one as well. I actually wanna pick up something that goes over the sink. I've seen it on so many like YouTube channels and trailer Pinterest pages I click on, so that we can actually have the whole surface if we need to. Um, so when we're not washing up, like we can put things on here. And then our sink, our tap, is a matte, black it's absolutely gorgeous it's matte black oh <laughs> 
Jake must have put water or started to already put water in because when I just turned that on the water just came out but yeah it's got hot and cold it's really easy and I love the matte black of it that goes across with the marble then moving over to here is our stove or hob whatever you want to call it and this is run by gas so you just turn it and then light a match we don't want to use this as much we really want to barbecue as much as we can but for rainy days this is definitely going to be perfect this wasn't one of the things that was on our list for the trailer it's just an added bonus and plus that we have got it so this is the worktop now moving down to here is our fridge and mini freezer. Now the fridge is great. So everything in the trailer has already got really good locks on it. So when we're traveling and nothing opens or stuff like that. To turn the fridge on, you simply just lift this up and then there is an on button here. You can actually have the fridge on while we are driving to the destination, which is really cool. Um, so that we don't have to sell it out when we get there and it immediately gets cold. Then the latch is just this one here. And once you've pulled it up, it opens. And I love that our fridge, that these are super high because if we put units in here and we're traveling, it's not gonna roll around. Um, I do want some bars in here that go from one side to the other. They're like plastic bars. So if we put anything in here, that it won't roll around also. And then we have our mini freezer at the top, which is perfect for ice pops and little things like that. Most of the food we will be cooking will be fresh, so it's just good to have a little freezer for little other things. Uh, ice as well, ice pops, ice creams, stuff like that. And then to close the fridge, you just have to lift this back up and then just make sure it's secure so it won't open. Then moving over to this side we have two drawers they have great locks on them so here they have these little metal bits we actually did put stuff in here already i know it's an empty tour but there is a few things here left from my haul i did the other day and here is the other metal thing and then when you close it and lock it into place you, when you pull you can't open it which is great for when you're driving it's actually quite hard to pull and then here's the second drawer they are nice and deep um they're a perfect size actually for storage and that is the bottom part of the kitchen now moving up quickly to the top so we have a little light here and if you click the middle of it that is how you turn it on so in the evening or when you wake up in the morning you just want a little light like honestly this one is perfect i love that it's just a click on and off then we have this beautiful big cupboard in the kitchen um so this is also using the same metal as the drawers you just have to give it a big tight pull and then this isn't where these things are going to belong but we've just kept it in here at the moment in time so it's not in the house but we have some bits if you've not watched me picking up the trailer i've done a haul of everything we've brought so far um so you can watch that then over here is a microwave i actually don't know how much we'll use this microwave because we'll be barbecuing most of the time or cooking on the stove like i can't think us using the microwave for much things like not a lot at all just in the first video of us going to look at it for the first time it actually had a red microwave in there and we asked if they could replace it with the black one because it just stood out it was like the same color as these knobs here um to match it in but honestly we just preferred a black one and they did it for us so yeah overall that is our kitchen space we absolutely love it um future plans is getting some stick on tiles for the back of the stove there so that when we if we are cooking it won't flick onto the material behind so it's easier to clean um also a long rug just along here to make it more homely and then at the side here i think i want a garbage bin one for recycling and one with a normal bin so just there so that's kind of future plans in there we're now going to take a little way round over to our seating area. So first of all, I just want to point out that it is blinds in here and not curtains, which me and Jake absolutely love. We can get 
Uh, we can insert curtains if we want, but for now the blinds are perfect for us. They just go up and down and they're black so they match the rest of the decor. In room, we went with a U-shaped seating area and this table actually collapses and goes down to um, the same lever as the bench or it comes out completely and then that's why we have a little gap here that we're going to keep here for the table to go in. Now, I think this is a great idea to keep this table here while we're eating and traveling, but of an evening, if we were to sit here, I would probably take it out and we wanna get a footstool just to make it more like a comfy area. Another good thing about this is that this, when it goes down to this level, we just have to take the cushions from that side and put it there and it makes it into a small double bed. So that means if anybody is coming to visit, if they want to stay inside instead of in a tent, then we have got space for maybe two people at a... It, it, it'll be, have to be two small people because it's not the biggest. Me and Jake did lie down the other day to see how big it was, but it is perfect for camping. And another thing that sold us this camper van was that gorgeous window we went into so many trailers where there was either the bathroom at the back here because there was double beds along here and there was no light coming in in but we have three gorgeous windows that we absolutely love like i said so many people utilize this space differently if you've got kids then another bunk bed and another bed here would be great but for just us two right now like we absolutely love this layout we love the fact that in the morning when there's a beautiful view outside that window that we can open the blinds and just look out and eat our breakfast at the view so yeah there's not much more to say about the living area apart from that it's like a gray material and the material is such an easy material to clean if you can literally just wipe over it with a lysol wipe like a, a disinfectant wipe and everything will come off and yeah so we're going to quickly go over to this side like i said we do have bits and bobs in here just to keep in here that haven't got a home yet so just mind that so moving on over to this side and this is like a little cubby hole coming away from the kitchen and up there is our furnace and air conditioning which is brand new it looks we haven't had the chance to use it yet because we need to be plugged in to use it it can work for a short period of time without but because it takes so much energy and battery it's better when we are plugged in so we will be using this a lot when we're on the road because it does get very humid especially here in Ontario and then we plan to go down to Florida at the end of summer so this is definitely going to come in handy then underneath that we have another two plug sockets and then just above it here we do have two more plug sockets and then we have space to plug in a TV. Now we have got the wires for the TV and we were going to put a TV on the wall just here. But for now it's not a huge priority. Like I don't want to be camping and watching TV personally. But in the future we will uh, for rainy days and just relaxing. We probably will put a TV in here. This little gap here we are going to keep free. Like I said when we want to put the table down. This is where the table is going to live. So we are going to keep that free. And then we have a really nice side unit here. That we would like to get a lamp put on. Um, like glue down or velcro down that we will be able to to easily pick off if we don't want it there anymore we have to be very careful if we're drilling holes or gluing stuff down that is we want it there forever because it's going to be really hard to repair it once we take it off then moving over here we have another storage unit we have so much storage in this little trailer that makes us so happy <laughs> so again these are on with the metal bolts and in here is a perfect size storage unit so what i have yet to decide what we want to put in here i think i'm gonna put square plastic bins in here for storage and put like plates and bowls and cups and mugs and chopping boards and saucepans like i think this is where all the kitchen stuff is gonna live um personally i feel like this is what's going to be best use of the space and then on top here is all the stuff we've brought so far, which I've told you in the hall. But eventually that will not be there. And I think we want to make a little bar area here. I think that we're going to make this into a little bar area just here. It'll be really, really cute. 
Also with the air conditioning unit, it came with this remote, which is great because it means that when we're in bed, we don't need to get up and turn it off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick some Velcro to the back of it and we're gonna stick some Velcro near the bed so it can live on the wall near the bed so we don't lose it for one and two. That's probably the only place we're gonna use it because if we're in the kitchen or the living room, we can just get up and turn it off ourselves. So yeah, we're gonna get some sticky Velcro for that. Moving on over now, we have our dials. So this is for our air conditioning. You simply just move this. I'm not gonna turn it on because it does get very loud. It does work for a short period of time, like I said. So I don't wanna turn it on right now. So this is how we make it warmer or cooler once we have it on and it's clicked off at the minute but as soon as i push it there a tiny bit it will come on then over here this is how we turn our water heater on our water pump and then this is something we had to learn so like i said earlier black is for sewage um gray is for like the taps and stuff and you basically have to empty it so say we clicked on black Currently it is low if you see it flashing. When it gets to full, you need to empty it. But what me and Jake said is when it gets to this one here, this one starts lighting up when you press it, then we will empty it. We don't want it to get it to completely full. The same with the gray, obviously it's empty because we've not used it here. Battery is completely full, so as soon as it gets to that middle, we need to replace it and then the fresh water as well. This is super good that we don't need to like put something in a tube to see if it's full or something like that. Like I absolutely love how easy this is for beginners like me. <laughs> On to the bathroom, the washroom, the toilet, whatever you call it where you're from. And one thing I love about this is that wood door. I absolutely love wood in decor. Like if I could decorate a camper van, I think it would look exactly like this. Like whoever designed it is beautifully done. So first the thing I'm going to do is turn on the light and the light is exactly the same as the kitchen. There we go. <laughs> you just press it in the middle just like that. So when you walk in it is very small and compact but it's got exactly everything we need. So first it has our toilet. We don't have any water in there as of yet so it is completely empty. I'm scared to use it, I'm not going to lie. I've told Jake it's only for number ones only. Um, and then there's a, pud up, a pedal just here that you step on to flush it. But like I said, it's perfect size for us. Um, there's not much room in this bathroom, but it's got everything we need. Then moving over to here, we have a, another storage centre just here. So when we're travelling, we're probably going to keep all of our toiletries in this one. And then to the side, this is an open storage. So when we get there, we'll be able to put towels um, just in there. Then we have this gorgeous a big side, which I absolutely love because we can put um, our we can put my makeup, we can put our toothbrushes on here. It's absolutely perfect size for us. If anything, it's a lot bigger than I ever thought we would have. And then to the side is just some hook sockets just there again. Then we have a sink, which is a nice size. And then coming up to the vanity above it's nice and thin but it's perfect size because you don't need anything too deep in a bathroom because all you're going to have in there is like shampoos conditioners um sun creams face skincare and stuff like that and i do want to get a bar like i said in the fridge it's a plastic bar that's adjustable um just to keep it flat against the wall so when we're traveling it's not going anywhere and then we have this nice big mirror here as well moving on over we have a lovely size shower um the shower curtain has got velcro on just here and then it goes across it's got a small shower head and when we get in the shower it's perfect for me because i'm not touching the ceiling when jake's in here his head just brushes the top but luckily this comes off, so you'll be able to shower and things like that. But it is perfect size for us. We literally just fit in it and it's just all we need. Then just above the shower is our fan for when we are in the shower to have that rolling. So we're not steaming up the shower room. Okay, and now coming out of the bathroom, we move on to the bed. It is a nice king size bed. It's absolutely huge. It's bigger than our one 
in our home and it's got a lovely window just behind and it comes with a mattress already um, and then just above the bed unfortunately this bed doesn't go up with storage because underneath is the storage underneath the truck which I showed you earlier but that's fine um, it's nice and big like I said just for us then just above we have some more storage just here I said to Jake I want to get that slinky um, net again like I talked about earlier to put from one side to the other so we can have folded clothes in there and when we're traveling they won't fall out so this is a great use of storage space and then when I talked about the Velcro aircon unit earlier I think we're going to stick it here just near the bed so we can use it once we're in bed then we're just slowly coming to that end now so we're moving over to this storage unit just by the bed and it is nice and long it is thin but i've seen on a few pinterest like i uh, like i keep saying i keep looking at pinterest ideas there is a great storage hack so because of this up here if you hang some clothes um, you're actually using hardly any space of it so you can get the storage blocks with the velcro at the top and then it's like you have drawers because I said to Jake about adding drawers but he doesn't want to add too much that you then have to like put holes into the like exterior so the fact that, that this is just a velcro thing at the top so we can change it anytime if we want to but that is another good storage area I hope you guys love this trailer as much as Jake and I love it. Honestly, it's our little pride and joy. We cannot wait to take it out next week. We're going to be vlogging every single trip we go on. We have so many books. I cannot wait to share it with you. I can't wait to decorate it with you guys. And I just can't wait to make so many amazing memories in it with Jake. And obviously my family and Jake's family when they come visit in future years. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe. And let me know if you guys love camping, if you guys got trailers, then let me know down below if you've got any little tips and tricks for us. We are beginners. We are doing everything from scratch. We're researching everything, Googling YouTube, everything. So yeah, we're really excited to share it with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.